This is the second part of the tutorial and specifically now we're covering how to get your VMware machines backed up. And I'm not talking about a snapshot, right? A snapshot, you have to go into the interface, create a snapshot. I guess you could schedule a snapshot somehow. That's just not what I'm interested in doing. What I want to do is get the whole file, the whole virtual machine ready to go somewhere else. This is actually a VMDK file or what's called a sparse file. Now, what's special about these kinds of backup files is they're a little bit unusual. They're different than regular data files because they're going to be mostly empty. Now, of course, they could be mostly full, I guess, if you really filled up your server. But most of the time, our servers are running on mostly empty, right? They've got a lot of empty space. So these VMDK files are going to be your whole server in a file. And they're going to be full of tons of empty space. And that counts as space. So you've got this thing that's uh, 20 gigabytes, let's say. That's 20 gigabytes, even though inside it's mostly empty. So these sparse files are a little bit troublesome. Now, in Linux, uh, up-to-date Linux, modern Linux operating systems, like the CP command does recognize this. It'll understand a sparse file and not spend time copying all of those empties, but rather just add them up and then you know carry over that number and skip that. So I think when it comes to copy CP, uh, yeah, it can go much faster than you would otherwise or if you were using older kernels. On rsync, it can recognize this. My understanding is it can recognize a sparse file. I tried to use rsync, but you know, it gave me a lot of trouble. We'll talk about that in the next tutorial. Right now, I just want to focus on how do you get your VMware files backed up? into the same server you're already on, just creating a local backup, basically, uh, a kind of a um, clone, if you will. Well, the way I do that is, as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, I have my rated disks that are running, and then I'm going to send backups to some other um, hard disk I have there. So I've got daily and I've got monthly. Now, specifically, what I'm going to run is a program called ESX I free VMware backup solution and this is at the website uh, well it's at sourceforge.net projects ESX no XSI backup yes SXI backup so this program XSI backup is just uh, uh, wonderful it just works great and that is the solution to backing up and what it's going to do is, at, on any kind of schedule you give it, it's going to go ahead and execute. It has a few parameters that are pretty straightforward. I think the parameters are uh, which VM machines are you going to back up. For example, you can back up all of them. You can back up just the ones that are running. And that's great. You've got the location to send them to. And so for that, what I do is I just go ahead and set up my cron jobs. And for example, here are some of my cron jobs for the daily script. And you can see I just go ahead and split it up into even and odd. And I go ahead and put those numbers in here and then tell it where to send it. And um, that does the job and it just works really great. And then I have another, so that's two cron jobs, even days, odd days. And I have another cron, two cron jobs for even odd for monthly. And it's basically the same thing. So what am I going to do? I'm going to run this uh, program, run this script, and just send those files over to these locations, which are local. So that's the, that's the basic uh, way to solve that problem. SXI backup. Now, the only issues with this program is that when you run it, it does delete any of your snapshots. So if you're fooling around with snapshots, if you created snapshots, this program will uh, combine those all together just like you were deleting snapshots. Use your most up-to-date version and then run with that. So you don't want to be using it when you're doing some experimentation maybe and using some snapshots. Besides that, it works great. It's not super fast. It does take time. So I run it on a cron, cron job at night and I don't do it manually at all because it would just be too, too slow. Especially if you've got a number of VMs and some of them are large. Great program. Can't recommend it more. SXI backup, you can find it at sourceforge.net. 
under Projects, SXI, Backup. In the next section, I'm going to talk about how do you now get those files off of the server and onto an external location. And by the way, the files it creates are VMDK files. That's what they are. So you've got, if you have five VMs, it's going to back, and you, you tell SXI to back up all of your running VMs, and they're all running, you're going to get five VMDK files, and they're going to be named based on the name that you name the VMs, and they're going to be huge. So if you've got a, a 50 gigabyte server in VM, your VMDK is going to be 50 gigabytes.